I have grown to despise and overcome the stigmas of being an adult who plays video games, but it took me a while to shake the shame from my fully grown gamer bones. If you have felt ashamed or even embarrassed the game as an adult, whether it was from external or maybe even internal factors because of the social stigma that can come with it, I think this video is going to be for you. So let's go! In this video, we're going to define the stigma as it relates to my experiences and give anecdotes as to what I've encountered, share the value gaming provides me in adulthood, and finally, how to overcome the stigma of gaming as an adult. If I can get my words right here, I think we're going to have a lot to say in the comments down below. So please join me down there after the video is done and we'll discuss it further. The stigma of playing video games as an adult really comes down to this. You're an adult, you're playing video games. That's so childish. It's so immature. You're wasting your time. It's this and that and this and that. It's just a hobby, people. That's essentially the context for what I'm going to be talking about here. It's going to be defined as just simply a hobby that's not taken seriously by other adults. As for me, I grew up playing video games and it was probably around my early 20s when I started to realize that something's changed with how people react to me when I say I play video games. I think it had a lot to do with just that stigma of, oh, you play video games? What a waste of time. Why aren't you going further in school or work? I was doing all those things. You know, it was like video games are a hobby. And it just kind of shocked me that people thought that it was some sort of like bad thing. I'm not doing drugs or like doing some reckless things, breaking the law. I'm just playing video games. And it felt like I should say, people were looking down on me and I just, I was so caught off guard. Fast forward to today, I'm 31 years old and I've overcome it, baby. I am feeling good. I don't care what people think if I tell them I play video games. It's a huge part of my life. It's one of my main hobbies. I'm super excited to express that. And in this video, I wanna kind of talk about how I got here because it wasn't as simple as saying, block out what people think, you know, who cares, blah, blah, blah. It's a little bit of that, but there's another key piece that I think really affected me that I had to overcome first. So where did this stigma come from? Why are people thinking this way? I think it has a lot to do with just an echo chamber of misconceptions and just people not understanding that video games are just a hobby like anything else. As much as people can have an effect on adults who play video games in terms of just their, their negative judgments, I think a lot of it comes down to us internalizing what they're saying and making it even worse for ourselves. And I say that because I did this myself. When you're in your early 20s, you're pretty impressionable still. You're still trying to figure out who you are and what your identity is. When there's this idea that there's this thing that you do that is looked down upon, you start to really actually think about it. Once that gets inside of your head, man, we can be our own worst enemies. We can be so much harsher to ourselves than anybody else could ever be towards us. I just internalized this and let the fire spread. It festered and I gave up video games for a little while. And that's something I have a really hard time with even till this day, the fact that I did something like that. So now let's get into gaming and the value I get out of it. I mean, first and foremost, it's a way for me to relax and something that I find comfort in. After a long day's work, being able to come home and play a game is just a way for me to wind down and truly feel at peace. Another giant element that gaming provides me in terms of value is the social element. It's the fact that my friends states away and I can just play games together, interact, have fun as if we were literally hanging out side by side, shoulder to shoulder. We can just log on in the comforts of our homes at any time and then play these games together and have these experiences that we can talk about for years to come. I don't think people who don't play games understand how impactful that is to help you further and add so much more substance to your friendships because if there's one thing I've learned in adulthood, friends don't always stick around or simply it's nothing personal, but we all move to different places. We have different lives and our schedules just get so full. So when you're able to play games with your friends, it's such a valuable thing to maintain those friendships and relationships. Now, the last point I have in terms of the value I get out of video games is not so much the value I get out of it, but more of a statement to refer to what gaming is to me. Gaming is a form of entertainment. Let it be heard. Hear my voice now. A form of entertainment. Now, what do I mean by that? When you go and sit down on the couch for two hours and watch Netflix or a movie, gaming is the same exact 
thing. I don't know how many times I've talked to people and they're like, yeah, I've been so obsessed with this show. And like, it's like Game of Thrones when that was big. Think about how long that that sh that movie was. The, the movie, the TV show was. I can't even talk. I'm so, this is where I get so hot in this video. People will watch that show for hours and they'll rewatch it. Then when you're like, oh yeah, I, I played this video game, you know, it was really fun. It was like, you know, it could be half the time. It's just like, oh yeah, video games, yeah. Like I, I only played that when I was a kid. Hell no, there's no way that you're going to make me feel bad about doing that. Just because you've defined watching a show is some sort of different experience. It's just not even close. Like these are the same things. This is the part that gets me every freaking time, man. I know you guys know what this is and that's why I'm so fired up about it. What has your experience been with people claiming there's some sort of difference between watching shows and movies and to playing video games? Because we all know they're the same thing. I'm done with this part of the video because I'm, my heart rate's going. Ah, oh God. So how did I overcome the stigma of gaming as an adult? Two things I did. First and foremost, I confronted people when they implied some sort of judgment because I've played video games. Now, what you can do here is be as joyful and excited about your hobby of gaming as possible. Because if there's one thing I've learned, it's that people tend to be excited with you and for you when you show signs of excitement and joy for the thing you're talking about. And regardless of what they think about it, it tends to just persuade them because we're emotional human beings. Like when we see someone happy, typically we're happy. So by bringing the energy that you want in return, you might be able to sway people into maybe even considering the hobby a little bit more for themselves than they ever have before, just because you were simply excited about it. And number two, overcoming the internalization of the stigma in my own head. I can't express enough how valuable overcoming the internalization of this stigma was for me. I do believe that I am the leading cause for why I felt this way. And I think a lot of other people are probably facing something similar. It's not always that everyone else is to blame. Sometimes we do have to look within ourselves. And in this case, when I did that, I found confidence. Confidence is truly the antidote to self-doubt. I just started to feel way better. I started to just, Ignore myself because there's nothing worse than a, a overactive mind telling you all the things you don't want to hear and then making decisions based on that. And through it all, here I am now, I'm a confident gamer. If somebody asks me what I do, I say, I play f***ing video games, baby. I'd like to think I take care of myself really well and I go to the gym often and so on and so on. And you know, this is all confidence bleeding through. I do all these things and gaming is a part of it. And I'm going to express that just as strongly as any other thing that might be a little bit more widely accepted. When all is said and done, most arguments against adults who play video games can be attached to most other activities that involve consumer consuming entertainment. For some reason, gaming as an adult implies to some that you must be lazy or immature or lacking productivity. Yet as we have established, the hobby we choose does not define the person we are. To say playing video games as an adult is irresponsible and immature does not just limit it to people who game, but to anyone that has ever spent too much time being involved in any hobby at all. Maybe playing video games into adulthood isn't a problem. Maybe an overconsumption of any hobby is the real story here. And as I have discovered personally, when it comes to stigmas, the possibility of internalizing and furthering the judgment in our own heads could overtake the external ones, and there is nothing stronger than the criticism we make upon ourselves. And that is all for this one. Thank you guys so much for sticking around this far into the video. I know this was a talking head video. They're not the most exciting, but the topic was something I was really interested in and I just wanted to kind of get this off my chest a bit. So thank you so much. Join me down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.